How are we going to deal with this? Um, can I have that Milky Way? No, you can't have the Milky Way. That's there's my Milky Way. Nice. I went out this morning, specifically bought this Milky Way to eat after my party. That's weird. It's not weird. It's my special food. I like it. Back me up on that, Seth. I don't think you should get the whole Milky Way. I want some of the Milky Way. I'd be pretty bummed if I don't at least get a bite of the Milky Way. Oh, now Craig wants a bite of the yeah, Milky Way. Yeah, I want way. a bite of the Milky Way. Everyone gets a fifth of everything. I want one fifth of your T-shirt. I want the bottom part, the belly. I'm not sporting a crop top in your house. I cut that off, make a headband. You couldn't handle my midriff. Guys, the only issue is I kind of need the Milky Way. No, for real, I have low blood sugar, and if my endorphins drop too low, I'm going to be a nightmare to be around. What? Your LBS starts acting up, you can have a finger scoop of Nutella. One okay? finger scoop of Nutella. Fair. Aficionados, this is Asia Celestino and you're watching Black Tree TV. We're at the red carpet premiere in LA for This Is The End, the crazy new comedy starring Seth Rogen, Danny McBride, and so many other people. Stay tuned because we're about to ask all of these stars how they would ride out the apocalypse. Nick, would you want to ride out the apocalypse with any of these guys? A hundred percent. I can't Perfect think of a better group of people. But there just there better be a lot, a lot of vodka. Where though? At James Franco's house, or is there any particular place? I mean, my friend's got a studio apartment that's it's not too big, but I think we can all 20 of us can fit in there. So we'll just get we'll be cramped, but it'll be good. A lot of people have been um, saying, I want to see that. I want to just you know all different sizes and races, and, and they just you know it's very exciting to get this out. I can't wait to see the people's reaction. Surreal is the only word that comes close to describing this whole bloody thing. The fact that we started this, uh, on a, worked on a short film in 2006, that somehow turned into all this is, uh, it's insane. If there was a woman in the house, how would the movie be different? How would the movie be different? I think when you bring her in, that's how the movie would be different. We wouldn't, we're, we're, we wouldn't know how to handle it. We would be lame. The way I imagine heaven, I think, is probably how everyone else ima imagines heaven which is, you know, everyone greeting you and everyone that you've ever loved or that's been a part of your life is peaceful and accepting you. Most people have to work beside some jerk they don't like. And I get to work beside a bunch of my best friends, like Mr. Craig Robinson, and it's, uh, it's awesome. I feel real lucky. 